All right, so now you have read through check um, ordeal by check twice now. Um, first time you read it just sort of on your own or you listened to me read it. The next time you read it and you got some ideas, you should have jotted some things down. Now you're going to be paired up with a partner and you and your partner are going to kind of review the story together, paying attention to where the checks are going, who's signing them, when was each check written, how much money is being spent, are there any strange parallels? For instance, is there a day where a lot of checks are written? Or how about the people who are receiving large sums of money? What do you think is going on there? You are making connections and you're going to create a visual on Padlet.com with your partner. This is going to be a character web. So in your character web, you are going to include all of these characters. These nine characters have to be on your character web. Here's what a character web looks like, a small version right here. Um, so here's how you would read one. For example, Marvin seems to be the main character in this character web, and Marvin is connected to Dr. Mendel. Well, it tells us right on the line that Dr. Mendel is Marvin's shrink, or his psychiatrist, right? But Marvin is also connected to Trina. He used to be married to Trina, but they are divorced now. Now, funny little web here, his psychiatrist, Dr. Mendel, is connected to his ex-wife, Trina, because they end up getting married. So this must be some sort of a doozy story, sort of like Ordeal by Check. So right, you have the characters in the circles, and on the lines, you have what their connection is, and maybe something that happened with them. So here are 15 things that did happen within our story, Ordeal by Check. There are some other ones too, and if you want to use them, you can, but you have to use at least five events within your connection. So you can just say, for example, um, Lawrence Exector Sr. is connected to Lawrence Exector Jr., father's son. You can say that, but I would like you to make at least five more specific connections. Now, he got his son um, a Cadillac from Hollywood Cadillac in whatever year it was when he was whatever year old, okay? So you're going to make some more specific connections, kind of drawing out a story here. Um, you can uh, color code your, your uh, character web. I'm going to show you a few different things that you can do with it, but you have to have explanations about the connections, how they're connected, lovers, father, son, lawyer, why, divorce, suing the mob, what is going on, all right? So this is these are your instructions. If you need to come back and look at them, you can. Here is how to create the Padlet. I'm going to walk you through that right now. So one of you is going to go to Padlet.com, and you're going to create an account. You're going to create yourself a free account. So once you log into Padlet, you're going to click right here, Make a Padlet. And then you're going to come down here and select Canvas. Canvas is the one we want because we can connect the boxes with lines, okay, with arrows. I'm going to select that. Now, it comes up with a background. You can change the background. That's totally up to you and your partner. You can kind of mess around with the settings. But before you do anything else, what I want you to do right now is you're going to go ahead and title this. So maybe we'll call it Character Web. And then in the description, you must put both you and your partner's names. So partner, oops, partner names. First and last names. I would like those there. Okay. Now, once we've done that, I want you, whoops, close this and look up here where it says share. You're going to click on share. You're going to come down here to change privacy. And this is all written on that sheet as well. So change privacy. You're going to change the privacy to public. Here with visitor permissions, I want you to change visitor permissions to can edit. Then you're going to come up here and click save, even though you can't see it yet. You're going to click it and then you're going to click it again. All right, so that is now saved. Um, you're going to go back. You're going to come down here. You're going to copy the link to the clipboard. And you are going to share that link with your partner. You can email it to them. You can put it on a Google Doc, or however you want to share it with them so that they can access this character web. Both of you should be putting things on this um, wall. So here's how you do it. Once you're on the, the page, 
you do a little double click and it gives you a box. You type in your character's name. And so something I might do is just kind of put a box over here, go back to the sheet, copy all these names down, like copy them, come back, paste them all in here. This way I at least have them, you know? You can move the boxes around. So once I have a box for everybody, then maybe I'll, I'll delete that the list. Um, so this is. All right, so I have two of them on here. Once you have them here, when you hover over the box, these three things come up. This is delete, like maybe you made a mistake. This is edit, in case you need to edit it for some reason. These three boxes, the three buttons, you do that and you click connect to a post. When I click that, it says, well, which one do you want me to connect it to? Well, I want to connect Lawrence Executor Senior to Lawrence Executor Junior. So I'm going to click connect. And what it did here was put, kind of hard to see with this background, it put this arrow. You see the arrow? So now Lawrence Executor Senior is connected to Lawrence Executor Junior. Now I need to, remember I said you need to put what their relationship is. So I'm just going to go right here and I'm going to put father and son. Now I have their relationship and I put it right on that line. Now if I move these around, I'm going to have to remember to move this as well. Okay. Um, you are going to do this. You're going to make a box for all nine. And then I would just delete that once you've done it. Have them all on here. Make your connections. Explain why they're connected. You can do lots of different things here. You can um, you can insert images, take pictures and put them in there if that's something you want to do. If you've got ideas of what these people look like and you want to include that, that would be fine. That would give you a little extra, right? Once you're done with your whole character web and you have everything you want, you're going to come up here to these three dots. And this is also on your instruction sheet at the end. You come up to these three dots, click more. You're going to come down here to share or embed. You are going to copy the link to the clipboard. Now it says my it says my Padlet's URL is copied. I'm going to go change privacy. I'm going to change it to let's see secret. You're going to change visitor permissions to can read. The reason we're changing these permissions is because that link that you just copied, what you're going to do after you click save, is you're going to go to the Schoology post and you are going to paste your link in the discussion post. I don't want anyone to be able to go in and change anything, so if you haven't made these changes, someone can click on it and make changes and you don't want that. Okay? Once you're done, this is how I would like you to share it with me with a link on Schoology.